All right, so the problem right now that we're facing is trying to figure out exactly how fast Maurice Green, this is not a real life representation, was going when he set the world record for running 60 meters, 60 meters in 6.39 seconds. So the question is, what was his final velocity? All right, so we're going to take a look at what information we have and what information we need. First things first, we have a distance and a time. So we know we're going to be able to use an average velocity or derive an average velocity. We can then use an average velocity here and apply it to this equation because we know his initial velocity is zero. Don't know his final velocity. That's what we're trying to find. And two is already given. So this is going to be a two-step problem, but a fairly simple one to work out. First, as we said, we know the average velocity that he was going when he set the record is equal to 60 meters, which is his displacement, over 6.39 seconds. It's an easy enough calculation to do. That comes out to be 9.39 meters per second. All right, now we have that. That's an average velocity. We also know that average velocity from those kinematic equations is equal to the initial velocity plus final velocity over 2. So in our case, it's going to be equal to 0 plus Vf over 2. All right, so now we can set it up and say 9.39 meters per second is equal to... 0 plus Vf over 2. Now we need to isolate Vf right over here. So we're going to say Vf is equal to 9.39 times 2 minus 0. And that's pretty simple then. Vf is equal to 18.78 meters per second. So that means that when Maurice Green over here ran and ran and ran and ran and reached the finish line, yay, yay, he was going about 42 miles per hour. If you'd like to see how to do the conversion from meters per second to miles per hour, we can make a screencast about dimensional analysis for the next problem. In the meantime, we're going to do part B which is asking that if he took five seconds to slow down from his initial velocity at that finish line of 18.78 meters per second, we're asking how much ground did he cover during that time if he only took five seconds to slow down. Well, we can use the same process as before, just sort of going backwards. Velocity average is equal to 18.78 plus 0 over 2. In this case, it's going to bring us right back to that 9.39 meters per second. So what's different this time? This time, the amount of time is different. So you're going to have 9.39 meters per second is equal to delta x over 5 seconds. So that's going to bring us to delta x equaling 5 times 9.39, which is 46.95 meters. And we're already done with the problem. So here's the guy in action, as you can see going pretty fast when he hits the finish line. Took a few seconds to slow down. Covered quite a bit of distance, came back. And soon we'll be doing the laws of thermodynamics. So you will see that that actually was just a publicity stunt and didn't really need to happen. All right guys, see you in class tomorrow.